and I made two portions and this is the first thing I've ever cooked in my new flat. It's the first thing that has ever been properly cooked. And now it's time for me to enjoy my dinner. Hey guys, so I've cooked my first dinner in the house. It's not a house, it's a flat. It's most definitely a flat. It's a very small flat. I don't think I could even do a flat tour because it's tiny. But it exists. I'm living in it and it's enough for me to stay in my masters. And we've got a very weird cooking system. So the fact that I've been able to do this is quite good. My fat mate's in the kitchen right now. I'm gonna finish this and get back to you. So yeah, that's my dinner actually done. What on earth is doing? Who knows? Um, but yes, that was my first ever properly cooked dinner here. Um, I've been here since Saturday. Today is Friday. <laughs> Um, but they provided shush. The halls provided pizza um, for a few different nights for like a welcoming thing. And one night I wasn't hungry, and another night I had a pie. So yeah, <laughs> that's how I managed to get away with not really cooking anything. <laughs> but this is the first thing I cooked, and it's also the first time I've made my own marinade, or even marinated, marinated chicken at all, but I also made my own marinade and then just fried the chicken, so I was very pleased with myself <laughs> but this has nothing to do with books, so saying that this whole video has nothing to do with books it's just kind of a look, I've moved into my new place I will be showing you guys at some point my little tiny bookshelf I have more books than I was expecting, which is no surprise um, but at some point I'll show you guys that and just kind of show off what I have here and do a bit of a book haul etc. I haven't listened to me recording in here yet but fingers crossed you can hear me. My little intro thing with the cooking was inspired by Tokidoki Traveller? Yes, Tokidoki Traveller. I've been watching her for a few years, um, her name's Emma. And her channel's really, really good. She lives in Japan, mainly in Tokyo, and she kind of films about her life and she films herself cooking in her teeny tiny kitchen. And now I have a teeny tiny kitchen. It just felt appropriate. <laughs> already met someone who likes reading and I've already looked off of them. It's a good start to the evening. Truthfully, I don't really know what this video is. I just kind of decided to sit down and record. I'm sure editing Abby will not be pleased. But I just wanted to kind of put something out. I'm in my new place. Uploads for my blog and for my channel might be a little bit all over the place until I get more settled down. I am meant to have a routine, but not everything is in place. I need to get my arse into gear with the routine. So <laughs> that then means that, yeah, it's going to be a little bit wibbly, a little bit wobbly. But I'll be editing some stuff tonight, hopefully and getting some more things done. So yes, just a little catch up video. I'm happily settled into my new place and hopefully the building will stop being worked on soon. It's currently a building site. Um, <laughs> I have scaffolding right out of my window so I was waving to some of the builders earlier. <laughs> and I have a very large window as well. So maybe I will do a room tour. It's kind of a mess but it's always gonna be a mess. Let's do a room tour. So, front door, lovely, ta-da. You gotta start somewhere. Some mess here, I'm aware. I'm gonna open this door and go inside. <laughs> but this is my wardrobe. I don't have too much in it at the moment. Those are my shopping bags because I don't know where else to put them. My area doesn't fit anywhere else. And I was trying to get my camera down while I was cooking and it got trapped. So it normally sits up there with all the other things. But the camera bag is now there. <laughs> And yeah, you know, just, oh lord, it's gonna fall when I open the door. I'll leave that clothes and laundry things, ah. Oh. And then if I turn, oh, this little key fob. This little key fob is how I keep my lights on. And the only problem with that is that it turns off every single plug apart from one when I take it out. So, like, all of my electronic devices go off when I'm not in the room, which is a pain in the ass. And then my radiator, oh. And then the back of the bathroom door and then the bathroom! So, a little bit of a mess. Uh, I don't know where to put these right now. They were on top of the wardrobe, but then I had to get some down and it seemed stupid to put them back up. So for now, they're letting them run on the floor. 
Hello. I'm dressed very, very snazzily. I've been in all day. Don't judge me. Um, and then I need to put this on the loo, actually. But just, you know, my various cotton products, a little spray, and then loads of crap in here. <laughs> and then my little bathroom shelf, little sink. And this is quite fancy for student accommodation in the UK. I don't know about other countries, but so we have a shower door. <gasps> and a really big shower. Normally they'd be like half this size and with a curtain. Uh, and that's my own hanging thing, and then it's got it's a decent little shower actually. Um, and I don't know if you can hear the noise, but that noise is the extractor fan, which goes on if you turn the light on. In my old place, you could turn the fan off and leave the light on. It, you had control over it from reaching up because it was like there. Um, but this one you don't, which is a little annoying, but you may do. Do the next bit. So, we've looked at this. Let's shut the door. Now we're into my mess of a room. So over here is a lovely present that my boyfriend got me for graduating from my undergrad. So it's an owl. It's not focusing very well. Thank you. So it's an owl and his... I, can't, I don't know if you can see, but he's holding a quill and he's writing in the same words on there. Inkwell and some books. Because owls are one of my favourite animals. Probably my favourite. And... I love reading <laughs> and I do also kind of like writing although I'm not very good at it so that's that and then going back over here there's just the coat rack and then onto the rest of my room now this sits on here I've decided that's where it goes but I took it down because that's a really good height for me to film sat there so so at the minute it's there and then I have my very messy letter holder we just got loads of like vouchers and leaflets and stuff and I, I I tried to sort through them and this was the cut down so yeah and then there's stationary things and there's some food behind there because this is my fridge it's in my room and this is my freezer so we don't have too much freezer space but we do have a decently sized fridge all to ourselves and then this shelf here is where the books are uh, and then this shelf here is where I get my medical stuff and my papers and things like that and then this is sitting out because it's still a little warm but this is the second half of my dinner that I made tonight um, I'll put this on and see what it does but once it cools down I'll snap the lid down and put it in the fridge little stationary section with the calendar that I've given my glass from dinner <laughs> because it's a mess a laptop my giant window like it's huge everyone else has got like one that's smaller than just this bit I have this huge thing you can see me I don't know yeah you can tell um, the scaffolding it's like right outside there is a vent so I have that open instead of opening the window a little quieter as well but yeah the, the workmen like walk right in front of the building building window so i wave to them <laughs> and then my tv with my playstation oh and then there's some drawers down here there's not a lot of storage in here because my giant window takes up some of the space that would have been for storage uh playstation games clyde nagini sadly valor passed away uh which was my little i had a purple I don't know why I'm pointing because it was never here. I had a purple little tiny plant, smaller than Clyde, and he died, which is sad. But there's Clyde and Nagini. Clyde is the cactus, and Nagini is the snake plant, hence Nagini. And then this is my bed, in which there's some storage underneath, and then my little bedside lamp. And then because I don't think he wants to be on film, right here I have the graduation picture of me and my boyfriend for his graduation and he has the picture of him and me for my graduation but yeah he, I don't know if he wants to be on the YouTubes so he's not on the YouTubes and then yeah this little shelf here I've just popped my reading thing so Kindle the book I borrowed off of a course mate my little eye cover because the blind doesn't fully cover all the window lip balm for my undergraduate uni <laughs> and student essentials. Student essentials, some ear plugs. They, that's now inside out, well done. 
This is not easy to do one-handed. Come on. Over here. Uh, my mum got me these for first year. Um, so, four years ago. <laughs> because of my chronic migraines. And they were in Deroach Smith's as like a shh, I'm reading thing. And yeah, they're a nice handy little thing to have, especially with the construction. <laughs> and then the last thing that you haven't seen is my cork board. So it goes up and down, which is a bit odd. So this thing here is just my luggage tag from Guyana. I just had it on my backpack. Just a simple luggage tag, but it fell off of my backpack when we were on the main road from Georgetown into the rainforest area. And I was a little sad, you know, but oh well. We got back to Britain and this was sent through. They posted it all the way back. So it's not only been to Guyana and back, but it came back via post and I just thought it was a lovely thing that they sent it back. My lecturer came into one of the other lecturer's sessions and like surprised me with it. So yeah, I always keep that pinned up. I don't know why, I just do. And I love Harry Potter, so it's fine. <laughs> and yeah, then this is the door here into the kitchen. So I guess I can try to very quietly show you around. And if she appears, I will disappear. She's very nice and I wouldn't do this normally. But I want to give her some privacy. So as you saw from that quick little clip of the kitchen, it is both small and messy. And that's because I have yet to do my dishes and stuff yet. And I did just cook using pretty much everything. So I'm gonna go and tidy it up. It's not always that messy. I think that's the messiest it's ever been. Um, just because I used so many utensils and crockery and all that to make my dinner. But it's very, very small. We've got a small sink, a draining board about that big, two induction hobs, and an oven that is also a microwave and a grill. It's very odd and it took us a very long time to figure out how to work it. It just looks like a microwave but also the oven and the grill. It's just because it's so small so it's a little hard to deal with but we're managing and we've not really gotten in each other's way as of yet which is always a good thing. <laughs> and then on the other side I showed you guys um, it's a kettle and toaster and then the little fridge and my parents actually brought that for me and I was going to have it in my room but it makes a hell of a and we do already have the fridge in our room, so I've put it in there. But like I said, if I take that out, or if my flatmate takes hers out, the little key fob that activates the electricity, then it will turn off. So if I know I'm going out, and she might be going out, I have to bring it in here and plug it into the one plug socket. That doesn't go off. <laughs> and the only reason we have that plug socket is because the fridge is in here. So it's a little bit annoying. But yeah, it's manageable. Uh, and then also we do have like a cinema room and like a common room and a gym. I've used the gym already yesterday. So it's a nice little bit. It's expensive. And it's not the best put together because it was put together in a rush. But it's fine. You know, I'm here for a year. I'm here to learn and to make videos for you guys. <laughs> well, I could do that anywhere in the world as long as they have Wi-Fi. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a view around my brand new flat. And that's the only thing I haven't shown you, though I don't think I need to. The ceiling for half of my room is incredibly high. Like, my boyfriend's 6'3 and I don't know if he'll be able to touch it. I don't think so. No, that's far too tall. He'd have to, like, proper jump. Why are we still on the bed and jump? I don't know why it's so high, because no one else's rooms have this high of a ceiling that I've been in. But yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to watching Eat Well For Less, which is the whole reason I actually cooked proper food. So that's probably a good thing, I should probably keep watching that. Thank you BBC. This is me, all settled in as much as I can be for now. And I haven't properly started my lectures yet, but fingers crossed they all go well. And I will see you guys whenever I post next. Because I've got no idea when I'm going to fit this in within this little schedule I've made. Uh, hopefully soon. I'm aiming to post every 
Monday and Thursday on my blog and Tuesday and Friday on this channel. So I'm not sure I'm going to put this in because I've scheduled other videos to go in. Um, but yes, keep an eye out for then. That's kind of the schedule that I've made up just to try and make sure I keep uploading on a decent basis whilst I'm here doing the masters because that's going to stress me out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys and you will see me either Tuesday or Friday. Bye guys. Oh my god, traditional YouTube ending. <gasps>